Good afternoon, Council General, uh, Nikita Bhushan, Council Bharti. Uh, I'm glad to be here. My name is Sel Ganeshan, so I'm part of Thai Detroit. And uh, Thai is the largest entrepreneurial network. It was started by uh, a bunch of Indian entrepreneurs way back in the Silicon Valley. Uh, we are in about uh, 61, uh, uh, 61 chapters, about 18 countries, and about five continents. Um, so, so Thai has almost become synonymous with entrepreneurship. So if you don't know Thai, you simply do not know what entrepreneurship is. And that's how Thai is so powerful in the West Coast and the East Coast. And we are trying to really revive that in, in the Midwest region. Uh, the one thing that I want to talk about is really, uh, Thai recently hosted a historic visit of Prime Minister Modi to Silicon Valley uh, in 2015. Um, and so Thai hosted the uh, India Digital Dinner and also Startup Connect uh, hosting Prime Minister Modi. So you would see all the key uh, uh, entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, the uh, uh, Pichai from Google, uh, you see the Prime Minister Modi, uh, and all the uh, big wigs from uh, Silicon Valley participate in the dinner. And uh, that's really from the uh, lunch and event hosted uh, for Prime Minister Modi. Focus on the few things that we did with uh, the Ambassador Singh in 2015. So he visited Detroit, uh, and we talked. You know, we, uh, he participated in economic uh, uh, club at uh, Detroit, which is a, a massive event. And then we also had an event at uh, Thai Midwest right here in Consulate, and we hosted a massive conference in Detroit, Thai Midwest. Uh, this is the uh, picture from uh, the event that we had in Detroit at the Economic Club as Ambassador speaking. I see that uh, Council Bhatti there. Uh, and that was the previous Council General, Dr. Saeed. So I'm not making it up, this is real deal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we also hosted a, a conference called Taikan version in the Midwest, and we had about 100. 750 people attending their conference and focused on latest uh, technologies such as connected mobility, uh, which combines the connected cars, autonomous vehicle, and the mobility all put together, which I'll quickly talk about, digital health, and, 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 and sectors that were relevant to the Midwest. And we partnered with the Consul General of uh, Chicago, Dr. Saeed, and we partnered and we pulled together a massive event. And this is the event that, uh, you know, Long are the days gone where India was the, you know, India is the offshore or outsourcing destination. Now I think the game is really about innovation. Uh, and with that in mind, I think an event was hosted by Thai Midwest at the consulate last year, and that was a good event to get going. I think events like that would really continue to take uh, in that uh, spur. Yeah. And these are some other pictures coming from that event and some other speakers. And then this is the event we did called the Ignite to Disrupt. And like I talked about, we had uh, several of these events. And that's uh, Council General, uh, you know, fireside chat uh, at our conference in Detroit. And we also had our Governor Snyder uh, participate and keynote in the conference. So we had interaction with them talking about how we can partner uh, between the Thai, uh, the Consulate General of Chicago, and the state of Michigan, and towards you know economic uh, opportunities in the state. So where does this leave us? So what I wanted to talk about here is that how you know the Midwest region and specifically Michigan can play a role uh, in leveraging the two economies, uh, U.S. and India. And as you know, Michigan is the auto capital of the world. Uh, it's an ideal location for a lot of IT manufacturing companies, and we talked about the talent. Uh, it has one of the largest high-tech workforce in the U.S. Uh, with about 100,000 engineers, 113 R&D, and 216,000 in skill trades. So many independent universities, uh, and it's home of uh, University of Michigan Ann Arbor. And the timing is so right, uh, because with a lot of things going on in India with the mobile revolution, and uh, India is no longer uh, an outsourcing destination, now it's a global innovation hotbed. And we have uh, startups in India that is going on a massive basis. Um, and I think this information I have, which shows India as a third, now I think it's really second. 
And so that's how fast this India is growing. And I think, you know, after our meeting, I think with the, with the Thai, uh, the brain uh, power in Silicon Valley, I think, you know, Prime Minister Modi went back to India and he launched the digital transformation and a lot of startup activities happened as a result of that visit. And so the Thai really played a major role in shaping those kind of policies. So where can we focus? I think we can focus on several uh, areas, but I'm going to talk about the connected cars. So these are some of the areas that are in Midwest that we can work with India and the US and collaborate for mutual benefits for both regions. And so the question is, how can we synergize? How can we identify sub areas within those areas to really take it to the next level is where the opportunity lies. So, you know, so I think the one example I want to talk about is really where Detroit is coming back about eight years ago, Detroit was completely written off. I mean, with $5,000, you can buy a home after 2008 financial crisis. It was so bad. And Time Magazine wrote a big, big article saying that this city is dead. But it has come back. Like most of the Midwestern states have come back. It's a comeback state, it's a comeback city. And as a result, the resilience, uh, the Consul General talked about resilience of India. I think there's a lot of resilience in our Midwest region as well. So how can we combine those two resiliences and really leverage opportunities for both regions is really where we need to head. And I think as a next step, what I wanted to ask the Consul General is to really to uh, talk about taking few action steps. And I want to base it up based on some of the uh, historical success that we had. So the Prime Minister Modi went to you know Silicon Valley. He gets excited about the ecosystem, talks about the digital transformation, talks about uh, you know the start of Connect. I think you know we would request him to come and visit Detroit, as Detroit is really becoming the mobility capital, uh, and there is a lot of connected cars, autonomous vehicles taking off. I think you know we can go into the auto revolution, and then opportunity lies. And second, I would also request the ambassador, new ambassador, Sarma, to come to Detroit, Michigan, and do the same thing what we did with Ambassador Singh. I'd also like to request the Consulate General uh, Nita Goshen to really participate in the next ICON that we're going to host in Detroit and repeat the same thing and really leverage all the assets and talent that we have and partnering with the state of Michigan and the Economic Development Corporation and uh, really take it to the next level. I want to leave with this metaphor. Right now, if I were to look at the connections between India and US, I see as a single lane expressway. But the opportunity lies to create a six lane expressway. And that's really where the opportunities are. And that's where we gotta be excited and really how we take it to the next level. So thank you so much.